Hello, welcome to the Friday, May 25th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Reston, Virginia. If you wondered about all of the opt-in, opt-out mails that you received on Thursday, that's because Friday, May 25th is also the first day the General Data Protection Regulation or GDPR is going to be in effect. Haven't really seen much phishing or so being mixed in with these emails. I guess the fishers really haven't caught on to this or they figure that users will actually just ignore most of these emails. Looks like there's evidence that a double spend attack was successful against the Bitcoin Gold network. Bitcoin Gold is a cryptocurrency that was forked from the original Bitcoin back in 2017. It currently ranks at around number 30 for the largest cryptocurrencies by a market cap. So certainly not a small currency, but maybe not big enough to withstand a 51% attack. Apparently the same attacker has tried that before against the original Bitcoin network, but now has been successful against Bitcoin Gold. At this point it's estimated that the attacker made about $18 million in Bitcoin Gold. The way an attack like this works is that an attacker is trying to spend the same Bitcoins twice. Now, typically that's not supposed to work because the Bitcoin network itself is designed that only one node really can confirm a transaction but if an attacker does hold a majority of the processing power then there is a good possibility that the attacker is able to confirm the attack as well in addition to the rest of the Bitcoin Gold network. Now the target here appears to be crypto coin exchanges. The trick here is that the attacker needs to be able to have someone accept the large transaction and of course crypto coin exchanges are more likely going to accept these large transactions. One defense against the attack is to actually not accept the transaction until a number of additional transactions have been confirmed by the network. It appears at this point in the Bitcoin gold network, you have to wait for more than 20 transactions to be confirmed until a transaction is considered valid. Now, luckily, the person receiving that particular recording via their Alexa device uh, did immediately contact this family, ask them to unplug their devices. Amazon has confirmed that this particular event took place. They haven't really released any details as to why this happened or if there's a chance that this could happen to others as well. Of course, Amazon's Alexa has the ability to make phone calls and also call other Alexa devices. So it's possible that this was the equivalent of an accidental phone call that was triggered by something that these people said in the presence of Alexa. Then we have another crypto coin story. This time it's the Verge crypto coin. Now Verge was in trouble back in April. Due to a bug in the cryptocurrency, it was possible to backdate mining activity and claim credit for it that wasn't really due. So uh, this particular individual received about $1.6 million worth of crypto coins for mining activity that they never actually performed. Formed. So the money wasn't stolen from any individuals, but just from the cryptocurrency itself. Now, Verge did a hard fork in order to fix this vulnerability, but apparently it didn't do it right. And the same attack now happened again. And this time, probably the same attacker did net about $780,000 worth in crypto coins. Well, thanks again for listening. This is it for today. Monday is a holiday here in the US, Memorial Day. So talk to you again on Tuesday. Bye.